The Unify platform from Ubiquity is a great tool to have in your tool belt if you're a Wi-Fi installer, and today we're going to show you how easy it is to set up. We'll be using a Dream Router as our Unify console with an uh, assortment of Unify devices, so follow me as we learn how to do Unify. But first, coffee. Perfect. So now we're going to jump onto my device here. Uh, we can see that I am plugged in to the U switch, which is then connected to the other Unify devices as well as a LAN port on the Dream Router. Now, if we jump into Firefox here, we can see that I've already navigated to 192.168.0.1. Uh, that is the LAN IP address that I'm receiving from the Dream Router. And you can see that I'm presented with the page to set up the device. Okay, so we will set up the UDR, and you can see that we're presented with the first page, which is giving ourselves a console name. And for now, I will be choosing uh, Go Wi-Fi UDR. Agree to the terms and service, and choose Next. Now, at this point, we are presented with a sign in to UI.com prompt. Uh, this enables our cloud management of the Unify consoles, similar to the Dream Machine Pro, the Dream Machine SE. So I will uh, just go ahead and put in my UI credentials and then we'll jump right back. As you can see here, if you have two-factor set up with your UI account, you're also prompted to type in your authentication code from your provider. Once typing in your two-factor code, you can see you're presented with an option to restore your console from previous backups if you have used uh, Unify consoles in the past. So as we can see here, we've got a variety of consoles that I've used as a, a Unify trainer. Uh, for now, we're going to continue without a backup. Next, we're presented with the option of typing in a Wi-Fi network. And for now, we will just do YouTube test and type in the most secure of passwords, password123. It will then start performing a speed test, which with the power of editing, we can skip right through. Fantastic, and as we can see, we have close to 800 down and just over 500 up. Now this is particularly useful for performance monitoring within the Unify console. And at this point, we are setting up Unify OS. And again, with the power of editing, we can skip through this process. Fantastic. And now that we've set it up, you can see that we are presented with the applications page of Unify OS. And we can see that we already have discovery of two network devices, which would be my switch and access point. Uh, we also have the camera presented as well. Uh, but because we don't have the Unify Protect application installed on our console, uh, we are unable to adopt it unless we install Unify Protect which we will do very soon. Right, so we will now click on to network, which will open our network, and we'll get rid of these alerts. And we are presented with our dashboard. So for now, we will begin with adopting our two devices. For this, we just need to navigate to the Unify Devices page, and we can see that we are presented with all the devices that the Unify console can see. Uh, for now, we will adopt the switch, and as well as the U6 light. And now as we can see on the Unify Network dashboard, we have our devices adopted and online, which means that they have been successfully adopted by the network application. We can see the IP address that the Dream Router has given them. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll click on each device and we'll give them a friendly name. And now as we can see the devices are getting ready with those changes and we'll show online with the new names. Okay and the next step we'll do is we'll have a look in our settings down here at the Wi-Fi network we created. We can see there the super secure password that we have put on there. We can see what access points are broadcasting it using our access point groups. Uh, we can see that the U6 Lite as well as the Dream Router itself are currently broadcasting this. Uh, if we were to apply more default settings like hotspot portal or hiding the name or even scheduling, uh, this would all be done under the manual settings, which we might look at at a later video. Lastly, we'll look at getting our camera online. Now to do this, we need to install Unify Protect as it has not been installed by default. We can click on the settings up here to navigate back to Unify OS. And we can see there that the applications are listed here we would like to install Protect. Now the Dream Router does have a limitation that only two applications can be installed simultaneously, uh, but the UDM SE and the UDM Pro do not have as such a limitation. 
So if you want to run at multiple applications, uh, look at a UDM Pro or a UDM SE. Uh, but if you're looking at something simple like this, UDM Router is great. Now we can see that Protect has been installed. So all we need to do is click on to Protect. Uh, it looks very similar to our network application as we can see. Uh, we can now click Unify Devices and listed here as our G5 Flex ready to adopt. Now the same process we've done with our access point in our switch, we will do with the G5 Flex. So we simply click adopt and let it go through its process. And just like that, our G5 Flex is online and we can click on there. And we can see that it's online. Now that was just a quick video to show you start to finish how to set up Unify using a device like the Dream Router. Uh, the same rules apply for both the Dream Machine Pro as well as the Dream Machine SE. Now we do have plans for more complicated videos on some other topics like traffic management, uh, VLAN port assignments and things like that. Uh, but if you do have any more ideas for what you'd like to see us film, whether it be on Unify device or other vendors, do reach out in the comments below. Thanks for watching today and I hope you have a great day.